Yo, fanatics of YGO, it's your friendly neighborhood Dirt Dark fan, and I'm bringing you another uh, deck profile of a very underrated deck this format, uh, Frog Monarchs. Uh, yeah, so Frog Monarchs. Uh, a lot of players have been trying to uh, play uh, Lancer Frogs, and honestly, I think that's a really good deck, more, uh, more structured, more stable, more control. But if you want to stick to same old Frog Monarchs, I still feel that they have some life left into them. And they can still make some cool plays with Gachis, uh, Dagusto Phoenix 6, basically with your uh, rank 2 uh, extra deck. And with that said, uh, let's get right into it guys. So here we go. Alright, so we are playing the 1 Gores. Uh, it's, a really, it's a really good card still. Uh, potentially late game, could win you games. Uh, triple light and darkness dragon because I feel that this deck needs to have a light and darkness dragon uh, first turn or somehow mid game in order to have a really good uh, chance of winning and to be honest a first turn lad against any deck right now it's very very crucial um, they have very little outs they're gonna waste a lot of resources with their cards just trying to get over him and if you can establish a gachi with him he'll go up to uh, 3200 and potentially just have more negations and overall, it's still a really well-rounded card and very, 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 very solid. All right, uh, for the f <clears throat> for the Monarchs, we're playing Triple Caius because Caius is still good. Potentially steals games away from people. People forget they can banish himself to inflict the 1,000 damage, get around any uh, trap trap holes, any bottomless not trap hole, but bottomless mainly, and any uh, anything else that gets in your way. Uh, triple Ryza because Ryza is still very well-rounded. Just gets. Uh, any set cards back to the top deck of your opponent potentially wins you games a really good combo with that gusta phoenix because it's a win and can attack twice potentially uh, a little bit of a change to the deck is i put in two dark dark spirit uh, it's a really well-rounded card as well if for those of you that don't know what it does it's when it's normal to flip face up uh you can uh destroy all face up monsters on the field so basically what this means uh, is potentially another out for uh, Bujins because it's not going to target their Yamatos, their uh, Mikazuchis, anything. And at the end of the turn, because it's a spirit monster, return back to your hand so you can recycle it for more, uh, more extra plays the next turn. Really good card. Uh, two Rona Totems because in testing I, we lose to Fire Fist a lot and we needed like a 2000 defense at least to get, uh, to get over those... The bears, so they don't inflict damage. It's a really good card just to stall for a little while until you get your combo set up. Alright, and moving on to the frogs. Triple swap frog, the engine of the deck, you need to summon it. Get uh treeborn engrave, anything that you need engrave. And with that said, triple treeborn. A lot of players run two, but I felt that tree tree <laughs> three is very necessary because uh you need to have it engraved as soon as possible. If not, you're going to have a hard trouble playing this game. Uh, triple Battle Fader, just to uh, control the, the amount of damage you take every turn. Uh, just FYI, you can take damage, you can save faders for last. It's not that big of a deal. If you know how to play Battle Fader, you'll probably like this deck. Uh, more hand, hand Traps, Double Maxi, because I feel that uh, Heretic Rulers and Murmurs are still going to be big. Uh, two Effect Valor to... Uh, Get negation going because we have nothing no traps so we're epic veil is a really good negation card and once we have board control uh he becomes really really good uh the one mobius just to uh, get rid of the back rows uh, bait out anything that's going to be chainable the lances uh anything that you can think of so that's for the monsters uh spells triple soul exchange because it's a really good card you're out to uh, fossil diamonds anything that gets in your way but uh Remember guys that when, when you activate this card, you can't attack for that battle phase. So just keep that in mind. Uh, triple enemy controller, the best card of the deck. Really good, gets your treeborn plays going, engrave in standby. Steals your opponent's Draco sacks. Anything that's really big, you can't get over. Uh, the one creature swap, because it doesn't target. And it's really good against your models and Bujins, anything else that you can think of. Uh, two duality, just to have more... Uh, versatility and get your combos set up first turn second turn third turn uh two msts because you need a uh, back row hate you need to get rid of anything that's potentially uh, a threat to you uh the one foolish burial to get tree board engraved as soon as possible and the one book of moon 
because uh, people are going to mean skill drain for some reason or slide it. And the Book of Moon just gets your play going by flipping your Monarch face down or anything you need to and get your effect going on. Alright, so that is the lineup for the main deck. We're going to move on to the extra deck. Uh, we're going to be playing one Thunder Charger because you're going to see a lot into rank 6s. And he's really good just to pierce your damage. Uh, Force Focus. Um, he might see play once in a while, but he's a 2800 attacker. So really good card. Uh, Sword Breaker. Uh, same thing as well, really good uh, attack, 2700 attack, uh, kick give you options, uh, photon strike bouncer, you go into him a lot, seals games for you, and that 1000 damage is very critical. Gauntlet launcher, really really good card, uh, potentially destroys two face up monsters that you can't get over, really good card. Uh, double gachi, because gachi is still good with the defense, 2200 defense. Dagusta Phoenix, uh, with that play I said with Ryza is really good. Armored Kappa, I'm still playing testing with it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to cut it or keep protecting it, but um, we'll see how it does. One Herald of Pure Light, uh, still testing it, haven't really played it that much. Slacker Magician puts in a lot of work. Uh, Scribe Dragon to synchro into your Veiler plays. Crimson Blader, shut down your opponent from special summoning. Uh, Cataster, really good card. Uh, Formula Synchron, crucial, you need to <laughs> have that Veiler and Treeborn if you don't have anything else to do. And the one token for Gores. Alright, so that is the <clears throat> extra deck. We're going to move on to the side deck. The side deck is still still a work in progress, so bear with me. We're playing the second Mobius because we need to get rid of the back row with a lot of trap heavy... Uh, uh, Dex this format, uh, same thing with Jinzo, uh, potentially wins you games uh, if you know how to play it. Double Snowman Eater, just to get rid of anything you can't handle if it's a monster that shuts you down. Really good defender and it's a water, so really good card still. Uh, double DD Crow, just potentially get rid of the, the Hysteric Signs that might go off end phase, so anything that you think that's troublesome to you. Uh, Dark Hole, because if we're going to go second and you know your opponent's going to have that macro, that soul drain, anything that's going to be potentially sighted against you, and you can probably see it from a thousand miles away, we're going to side into destruction basically, just to get rid of uh, those threats. And with that said, also Torrential, we're going to main side deck Torrential. It's still a really good card, and people don't see see the double Mirror Force coming, because they said they're probably going to side out their D MSTs. Uh, their twisters, I don't know, their dust tornadoes, whatever they might have. And with that said, I'm gonna main deck, uh, side deck dust tornado. Still a really good card, just get rid of the back row. With that said, also, uh, fairy wind gets rid of uh, all face up spell and traps. It inflicts damage to each player times 300. And the one Mally Cat, because people don't see that coming, I don't know for what reason, since we don't pay a lot of traps. So just set it, wait a turn, and just blow up your opponents. Spell and traps. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, I still feel that they have some uh, potentiality in this format. It's still a really good deck, really fun deck. Um, I like to play with it once in a while. It's a really, it's actually it's really fun to see people just cringe at the fact that they're gonna lose to this deck. But um, I don't know, guys. Make the deck, try it out, have fun, and thank you for watching. Remember, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And in the comments, tell me uh, if you guys like the deck, if you want any other, uh, if you can see any changes made to it. I really like your feedback. Thank you again. And remember, guys, keep it 8,000. And ciao.